Welcome back. We are out at our 520 square foot greenhouse. I wanted to do an autonomous systems check. First, right inside our door, we are heating up the airspace. This physically feels warm to me. We've got warm air blowing from this little solar powered fan, a little tiny solar panel sitting outside the door. This little fan is drawing some decent airflow and it's allowing all of our floor and our airspace to heat up. This hose runs all the way back to our solar heating box. We had 43 degrees today, which is pretty decent for being in mid-December. We're having abnormally warm temperatures this week. So that being said, I wanna take advantage of all of that. We have re-sown a bunch of seed throughout all these beds just to fill any spaces. And we're running around the outside of our greenhouse checking any sharp spots and patching all of that up and covering it with a little bit of poly to protect our second layer of poly. So next time I bring an update, we should have our second layer on, but that's for another day. I wanted to come in and check temps here. We're sitting about 58 degrees, 58, 59 degrees. Our little fan is blowing the heat right up to the top of our greenhouse. That is just a tiny little fan, but it is putting out some decent airflow and it doesn't have direct sunlight right now. Run down to the other side of the greenhouse. We've got some of our seven top turnips starting to pop through the soil on us. Some of our beets, not a whole lot. Slower germination rate on our red beets. Got lots of sprouts coming up in this little trench we had planted out here. This is just a super simple method of trenching, planting, and being able to hold water in the little gully we created. So continuing on down the greenhouse, got all of our Siberian curly leaf kale, one, two, and three rounds all coming up throughout this entire little bed here. Stonehead cabbages, we had separated out and kind of gave them a little bit more room than opposed to when we had sown them. Got all of our purple tat soy coming up here. Looking awesome already. Nice purple colors coming out on it. And we did have a little bit of cold damage on some of this, but nothing severe, not severe enough to kill anything. Just a little bit of fading of the leaves. Some of our kales, all our mustards doing wonderfully. Our Egyptian walking onions. Tons of lettuce coming up in here. Just more sprouts than we can count. All of our mache or corn salads coming up decently, keeping cilantro alive, which that it will be the first one to die back because it is not as cold hardy as the rest of the crops we have in the greenhouse here. All right, perfect example. We are in the shade. This water just kicked itself back on and it shut back off because it does not have enough direct sunlight to operate this. The sun is about to go down here and it's only catching a little bit of rays. I'd like to get a better setup to where I could run this 24 seven, like our small setup, but this doesn't have the features that I'm looking for. This is just a quick and dirty solar powered system that I had thrown together and making it run hot water through our compost. So moving from the compost over to our little solar heater box. So if you can see that we're sitting, I don't know, about 67 degrees in there, which is way better than the temps outside. And this is pretty awesome for just being a solar powered system, completely ran off of the sun. And the sun is slowly going down on us here, so we do not have full energy on any of these systems. One thing I want to mention and go over when I'm talking about all this composting is your Bocking Comfrey. This Comfrey is absolutely insane. You can take a small little cutting from the root. You can see where we had cut off of that root and it started to regrow roots. Try and shake some of the soil off this. You can see that large root. You can divide this up at least three times. We cut them into one to two inch segments. This is what they look like when they're done. I'm gonna gently get this out of the soil here. You can see the little piece of Bakken Comfrey has started to grow roots and vegetation off of a one inch piece of root. This Bakken Comfrey is so easy to propagate and so readily grows that we can just continue to cut off of them and slowly propagate them out. It takes about two weeks to a month in order to get some growth off of them, but once they come out of their dormant state and start to regrow, they grow very vigorously and provide a very, very high nitrogen source 
for composting or for feeding plants. So here's one that's been in for about a month, and here's one that's about two weeks. If you compost or if you have fruit trees, you should be growing this type of comfrey so you can chop and drop it in order to feed your plants and to easily activate your compost pile. This comfrey is very high in nitrogen and acts as an activator for your compost, creating the heat and starting the process of a compost pile burn. I just wanted to bring this update on all these autonomous systems running and how we can just walk in the greenhouse and everything is already running and we don't have to touch anything. And I want to thank all my viewers. I am getting a bunch of great ideas from everybody. Moving forward, I can incorporate people's ideas into my next project or the next phase of building my projects. I just want to thank everyone for all of the input up to this point and thank you for watching these videos. We hope to learn, grow, and share for years to come.